All right, we're going to fix a common issue with the RADS where it's not able to use your DNS to connect to the default location for downloading your updates and everything you need to play League of Legends. Anyways, if you've tried to replace the RADS user kernel and reinstalled and nothing's working, for, like, or if your game's periodic, periodically working, uh, you want, you're going to want to go ahead and do this fix. And also, you might even want to do the name bench DNS program that I'm going to go over. You might want to use that, and it could give you some decent internet boosts. Anyways, uh, your problem should be when you're running the game on the splash screen that says League of Legends right there. It's not it's just sitting there and flashing it's not getting to the screen where you could update uh, anyways if you want to get to that screen just listen up first of all you're going to download a program it's called namebench 1.31.exe or yeah windows.exe uh, get the one that's for your computer it's gonna look like this called namebench it's a google project just download it we're gonna save that once you download it extract the program get it started um, you're gonna go ahead and have an IP in here leave that alone leave your IP in there go ahead and change the query data source to the top 2000 Alexa websites you're gonna start your benchmark and after about 10 minutes it's going to have a finished uh, description down here with a DNS IP for you to use that is your top result. Uh, it's also going to pop up a little screen, its own browser that looks like this. Um, it'll pop up in your default browser. But anyways, this is your primary, secondary, and your Terry server. Uh, you're going to want to keep this number here, the primary server, and the territory server. Uh, don't worry about the secondary because that's your default DNS and you don't want to use that anymore. So once you have those saved, go ahead and open your command prompt by just looking for cmd.exe. <clears throat> You're going to type in ipconfig. You're looking for your default gateway right now. And this is if you're on a router, by the way. Um, if you're not on a router, you won't have to do this, and you'll just have to listen up for the next step that's coming up. Uh, so once you have your default gateway, uh, type that in to your browser. Don't forget to save the DNS IPs on here. <clears throat> Once you're at your browser, find your DNS page, log in, uh, uncheck the automatic from MySP, that's what you don't want, and go ahead and change your DNS server. Uh, change this to the primary number that you received from Namebench, and change this secondary DNS address to the Tateritary uh, server, I can't really pronounce that. But change these two to the primary DNS server and the territory uh, DNS server. Apply the changes. I know it's going to be different per router. You might have to look up for a tutorial for your router, but just find your DNS settings and change those. Uh, after you change those, all you need to do now is this next step which is for the people who don't have routers as well <clears throat> anyways you go to your network and sharing center change your adapter settings 
You could also get to here by just uh, clicking on your current connection, your live uh, Ethernet line, and then going to change adapter settings. You're going to go to properties and then click on your internet protocol version 4. Click on properties for that, it's right below it. And you're going to use this checkbox, it's going to be on obtain DNS servers automatically but you want to use this checkbox here Oops. and type in your DNS preferred which is your primary and your alternate which is the Teteri and type those two in make sure they're matching the ones you put in your router or whatever the name bench gave you accept it hit OK, OK, you might want to restart your computer or IP config and command prompt renew. Other than that, you should be set to go. Uh, you might want to replace the RADS file with the link that's provided on one of the forums. But other than that, you should be set to go and have a working League of Legends. Uh, the only other thing you might want to try is if it's still not working right here in local disk is where your Riot games should be folder wise throw yours inside your program files and then just make a desktop shortcut to it and you should be able to get your game running uh, mine's been running perfectly since I've done this little trick and before that I've had issues with it running off and on for about a month and a half. Thanks and have a good one guys.